Maria Drushkova and this is a recording of a video conference for a problem solving course. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Jesse and this is my husband Josh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so start right away with a tough question. What are your dreams about children and mathematics? What do you want? hope is that they can see math as something that's easy and fun and useful and that they won't be afraid of it but see themselves as being capable of tackling any problem that comes and enjoying it when they do. Uh, share dreams here with the family? Yeah, I agree that uh, the most important thing I think is for them to see it as a tool to help them to solve their problems. Uh, well, a lot of things are fun and useful. I feel like, um, well, for example, okay, I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, like writing, for example. Uh, writing can be fun. You can make stories with it, but at the same time, it's the main means of communication between people. Um, computer competency, being able to use a computer can be really fun, but it can also be very useful. Um, drawing, we express ourselves through our drawing. It's fun, but it's um, it's useful as a, a means of expression. So, so, so I'm hearing that expressing yourself is fun. Basically, yeah. do it, doing something creative is fun. So, yeah. how can we do this in mathematical problem solving? How how can kids express themselves? If we knew, we wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is it something that you'd like to explore as well? Yes. And I, I've read that um, that mathematics is a part of dance and movement, and um, I can see that in an abstract way, but I'm not sure how to help my... Um, I'd like to understand that better. Mm -hmm. oh, so in abstract way, you mean you don't know how to actually do it given a particular problem, for example, or a particular piece of math, right? Right. Or to, or to help my children see that math is involved in something like dance, so to make those connections. Mm -hmm. Are any of them dancers? Are you a dancer? I was, and I have a couple of dancers in the family. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, dance is something you... Uh, um, you connect with as useful and fun and it would be very interesting to try to connect these problems with this to connect uh, some of these ideas with movement and especially yeah. young children uh, learn a lot from movement but also grown-ups everybody we learn through the bodies right exactly okay so um, this this is basically the idea you plan for a bit on uh, the problems and you contemplate how to connect them to what you like, to what the kids like. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then uh, you, we do it together as a group. So if you don't know how to start planning, for example, or you just have an idea or two, you always ask the group for brainstorming because we have enough people with different interests. So right. we, will, we will brainstorm together. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you said uh, several of your kids like to draw, and all this one likes manga in particular. Yes. Okay. So, um, th does she draw it or does she watch it mostly? She uh, she does both, but mostly at this point she's drawing it. Okay. So uh, this is something that um, is intriguing because uh, quite a few young people are into this style. Yes. So maybe she can make some manga for us, I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. And I'm sure she'd love that. Especially if she'd say it was math. <laughs> um, well, uh, one interesting thing about anime and manga in particular is to look at proportions. Because, for example, usually uh, the characters are more childlike, which means they have 
bigger eyes proportionally to the head, for example. And yes. also if you look at uh, the mathematics of color, because originally Japanese comics only had a few colors, so and they had to be just so for printing. So there is a tradition of color coding <laughs> that's very symbolic too. So a lot of work with symbols. We will have particular problems though. So uh, it, it, uh, I want to be open to exploring topics like that, but the idea is for everybody in the course to modify similar problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, and to invite kids, of course, to do it. Right. So we'll plan for a bit and do it with kids, invite the kids. Okay. okay. Um, so, um, let me ask about another aspect of the dreams. You said you wanted to connect the problems to other aspects of life to, to overuse. Uh, have you tried that before? Have you tried to take a problem and kind of seek for where it applies? Um, yeah, I don't know that I've, I don't know that I've expressly said, okay, that we can use math to solve this problem. Uh, it's more of a, a kind of working with the kids to help them solve their problems so that it, so that they're more independent. Um, but I don't know that I've ever specifically tried to connect it with math. Mm -hmm. well, this is something that I would very much like to do in this course. And the idea is, okay, let us take a problem. It's an interesting problem, if I say so myself, but uh, some people already say it's interesting. Some kids already like it. Some adults already like it. How does that problem relate to anything? Can you kind of go on a scavenger hunt in dance, architecture, drawing, all those things, and find mm -hmm. the bridges, the connections? So I hope as a group, because we have a very talented group of adults involved in the course, participants, I yes. hope the group makes these connections. So we'll start uh, July 1st. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. So it's kind of the same way you've been doing, trying to help kids solve problems their own way. This way you can try kids, uh, try to help kids find the problems in their own way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, now... Uh, I, I want to ask you for your questions and your ideas. This were kind of mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of, what, to give us a sense of uh, what areas are you, are you hoping or to really delve into with these questions? principles of problem solving. So okay. what we did, for example, one of the principles I'll tell you, um, we'll, we'll put the things up uh, in the first week of July so you'll see everything. Uh, but okay. for example, well, one principle is to go to extremes. So if you try to solve a problem, does it work with zero? Does it work with really large things? How large can we do? Uh, so, uh, in in drawing, it may be black and white, basically the extreme of of tone or the extreme of color. Or um, in engineering, it can be how much load can something take before it breaks. So that's the, right. the, the extreme load and. Um, you can express this, you can use this principle, so we have several levels of problems. Mm -hmm. So for little kids, it's something very accessible. And for high school, it may be more involved uh, mathematically, but it's the same principle that's used for the problem. Okay. So I kind of went on a little scavenger hunt now to find that principle in areas that you said you were interested in. 
Okay. So that's the idea that you will do that with kids. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and you talked about brainstorming. What is the the method of interaction for that? Um, well, we will have uh, this question and answer forum that's just for course participants. So you can pose your own question there. We'll also have a couple of official questions per week where everybody will come together uh, in one question to, um, to, to brainstorm. And that's for grown-ups who are in the course. And every week, I hope you invite your kids to brainstorm with you as they work on the okay. problems. So there are several levels of this, right? Okay. We will brainstorm in the course, and you will brainstorm as a family. Okay. Maybe okay. with friends, even. Do you plan on yeah. having friends over? Does it answer your question, Josh? Yes, yes. Thank you. Is there going to be a specific time that we need to be connected, or is it just free forum? For the, uh, for the three weeks, it's a forum. We may have a live event towards the end, but uh, this conversation is the only live uh, timed uh, event because it's very hard to schedule everybody at the same time. We have yeah. more than 60 people si uh, signing up now, so I expect uh, even more. I am not scheduling anything for 60, <laughs> trying to coordinate that. <laughs> you know, it's hard enough with two, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Okay. So it will be more asynchronous. People will post things uh, during the week. I mean, uh, we'll try to keep the weekly chunks. Right. Okay. Does it answer your question? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. I, think, I think that's it. I don't have any other questions. Okay. Nope. Uh, if you have questions later, you know where to find me on Skype or by email. Uh, we will have a forum. I subscribe all course participants to the newsletter, so it's twice a week some just news of what's happening, so you, we keep in touch. And uh, let's let's brainstorm. Let's do it. Let's see how okay. it works. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jess, Josh. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.